Hey everybody, Matt Jackson here again, Local Motors, with another Local Motors Cruiser update. As you can see, it looks like a bicycle now. It's got <laughs> wheels on it, it's got cranks, it's got a sprocket, a chain. I've been riding it around, it's a lot of fun. It is uh, surprisingly well balanced. It's got, it's very smooth. It's very, uh, uh, fortunately, stiff frame, actually. We haven't been able to get it to really flex any at all, even without the, uh, tank in here that's actually going to be a um, stressed member of the frame. So we've been messing around with a couple different things. We've um, tried out a couple different seating positions. Originally we had intended to use this back part of the frame right here as a seat tube to provide some adjustability. But we found that really most people around the factory didn't ever want to move the seat up. They really wanted to move the seat back a little bit. And so what we've done is we're trying out hard mounting the seat back here uh, about halfway between the tank and um, where the seat stay would meet up, which is very close to where it was in Giannis' original drawing. And uh, this actually brings the seat back about two inches from where we had it, and I actually prefer it. I think it's quite comfortable. And honestly, most people probably aren't going to be trying to adjust the seat on this thing, I would think, because they're going to be using the engine. You're not going to really be worried about how efficient you are in your pedaling because you're going to be too busy uh, trying not to smile like an idiot while you're going 35 miles an hour or so down the street. Anyway, as you can also see, we have now mounted the engine. It's not hooked up yet. That's kind of what's going to be going on tomorrow, getting this thing up and running. But it also illustrates one of the other issues that we've been dealing with if you've been following the project on the forge, which is that of the transmission orientation. So um, this transmission uh, from the manufacturer can be mounted in any orientation that is a multiple of 90 degrees. So we can have it this way, we can mount it this way, this way, which you wouldn't want to do, obviously, or this way, which you obviously want to do. But um, the manufacturer recommends that when the engine is in this position, that you have it mounted horizontally. And then they also say it can be mounted vertically if you're going to have it mounted over the wheel in a, uh, in a vertical transmission position. The main reason for this is so that the force that's transmitted from the top side of the sprocket here through the chain back to the sprocket on the transmission so that force is in line with the crankshaft of the engine. So when you have the transmission mounted vertically, the uh, torque that's then imparted upon the engine bolts would be the amount of force that's transmitted uh, or the amount of force that the engine is pulling on that chain as it comes around the top side of the sprocket multiplied by the distance between the sprocket and where the crankshaft of the engine would be. So then that that amount of torque, so it's that force times that distance is the amount of torque that you're then imparting upon the engine and the engine mounting bolts. So that's not ideal. It would probably work, but it may not be the best solution for a uh, long-term um, reliability of the product. There's a couple other issues we have here in the mounting of the engine. Um, if we look at the distance between the crankshaft, so this cover on the transmission is about the center of the crankshaft. If we look at the length of the case from there, it's right about seven inches. So if we were to rotate that down, seven inches would actually have the transmission cover interfering with the uh, shaft for the cranks and your sprocket on the back, which you can't see uh, from where you are, would actually interfere with the engine mount and then we'd have to modify the engine mount to have the chain come out, which is not impossible. That's something we can certainly overcome, but that would mean raising the engine even further. Uh, something we found when we were mounting the engine was that we actually had to raise the engine mount five-eighths of an inch over the original design so that we could clear the sprocket for the cranks. So that was already you know, bringing us up a little bit higher. If we go any higher, then it's going to mean significant redesigns to the frame. So the challenge then to everybody who is interested in participating in the project is to help us figure out how to take the engine cover that was designed for this and modify it so that it will cover or incorporate this vertical or horizontally mounted transmission so that it's still aesthetically pleasing and you know fits with the overall design. So um, yeah, show us what you guys have and uh, we look forward to seeing what you come up with.